My name's William Perkinson, and I'm here to talk to you about how refrigerator ice makers work. Refrigerator ice makers are very convenient, and they've replaced the old-fashioned way of trays that uh, you had to fill up yourself from the sink and walk across the kitchen and put in your freezer and let them freeze and test them a couple of times. There was never enough ice when you needed it. Uh, nowadays, the vast majority of refrigerators come with an ice maker. Some of them are in the doors, like this one, which is very convenient but they all work on the same principle. The ice maker is a separate component in the back of the freezer, it runs on power supplied by the refrigerator, same plug that plugs into the wall is gonna come through the refrigerator and power the ice maker. Uh, the water, that's, water line that's plugged into the back that's filtered in your refrigerator, filters the water for the ice, so it's, it's clean and fresh tasting. Uh, the thing about the refrigerator ice maker that is, is so convenient is that it knows when there's when the bin is low on ice, when it needs more ice, and when it's full. Uh, and I'll get to that in just a minute, but let me tell you how the ice maker itself works. Uh, it has a valve that uh, fills the tray with water trays that are very similar to the ones grandmama used to make, used to use. Uh, there in, in the refrigerator, it has a temperature sensor that knows when the water is frozen. Then it does a, uh, it has a heating element that very quickly, and just for an instant, heats up the, the tray itself so that the ice will pop out. Then it has a set of pins that sweep through the tray and, and brush the ice out of the mold and down a chute and into the bin. Uh, then, then the it's process starts all over again and you'll get more water, more freezing, more ice, and then the thawing again into the bin. Now the bin has an arm on it and it knows uh, when it's full because the ice raises up and presses against the bar and it shuts off. A lot of times you'll, uh, if you've got an ice maker, one of the first things when it runs out of ice that you troubleshoot with is that arm artificially been held up. And that's a problem. You just re push it back down and the cycle starts again. Sometimes it can uh, artificially be held down and it just keeps making ice. And that is another problem because you'll open the door and you get an avalanche of ice from the freezer but it's very easy to fix. You just look at where that arm is. Anyhow, if all things are working properly, you should have ice all day, all the time, whenever you need it. I'm William Perkinson, and that's how a refrigerator ice maker works.